Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, I have been to my local pet shop today and bought some live food. So let's just open the bag. And in here we have some super worms or Mario worms, whatever you want to call them. They're all trying to get out. So we've got a fair few in there. Only here a couple of pound, which would be, I don't know, three, four dollars around that area. Uh, next up we have some large locust usually get around about six or seven in there and i think there's one two three four five there's six in there plus there is a little small one just there as well so i'll be feeding one of them to my centipede a little bit later and last but not least we have some small hoppers because i'm going to be feeding my Poclotheria metallica today the one i got from the uh British Tarantula Show in May that malted nearly two weeks ago. So yeah, so let's get that P Metallica and let's give it a feed. Here goes everyone. Oh, I thought it uh, definitely would be hungry after a couple of weeks of it uh, malting. So yeah, fantastic to see. And uh, if you didn't know, I have a seven inch female. So I'm hoping this one is a male so I can breed them in the future. I've had my female, oh, a number of years now, probably around about six or seven years. And she's a big girl. So yeah, that P. Metallica should enjoy that meal. And let's feed my giant centipede. So guys, as you know, my giant centipede is in this beautiful double lid enclosure and unfortunately it's blocked itself off at the back of the enclosure where the cork bark is. And there we go, there is the cork bark at the back of the enclosure and it's blocked off this entrance here and it's blocked off the other side as well. So there we go ladies and gentlemen, there is the other side of the cork bark and you see it's blocked off its entrance there. So a massive indication that it's going to uh, hopefully molt very soon. And this is why I put loads and loads of substrate inside. For a nice large centipede, I'd put at least eight to nine inches of substrate so it can uh, burrow down. But we have a molt in the scorpion collection, guys. And it comes from one of my Antrodoctinus scorpions. So guys, there is my scorpion that's molted. It molted around about a week ago, so it should be okay to give it a feed. This is my Antrodoctinus Louis Villa, and it's only small, it's only around about the inch mark. So let's get a small hopper, and let's give it a feed. There goes everyone. So hopefully, guys, we'll get a sting. It's in prime position. Look at that tail. Oh, my God. And that is one scorpion you would not like to get stung by. If I just give the... Oh, I was going to give it a little touch there. And there we go. And there's the sting. So it's uh, nice to see the scorpion attack its prey at last. So yeah, I'll leave it to eat its meal. So I hope you enjoyed this video everybody. And thanks for watching everyone.